Kate Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is one that I have been asked many times over the years, but I'll be honest, it's not one that I've got around to doing a video on till now. And the question I do get asked a lot is, how can we prioritize our data? Now, this is a really good question when you're doing data governance, because let's face it, you've got far too much data in your organization to do data governance on everything. And some of your data is going to be more important than other data items. And you clearly want to prioritize that and focus your efforts on that. But how are you going to go about doing that? Now, you may find online people talking about critical data elements. Now, this is a very good way and, and some regulators require you to identify your critical data elements. However, often when we're talking about critical data elements, we're talking about data fields. And if you think about how many data fields or attributes have you got in your organization? Now, if you're an average size organization, I'm betting probably thousands. And even if you're a smaller organization, it's probably still in the hundreds. So if you created a list of every single data field on every system and spreadsheet in your organization and put it on a spreadsheet and shared that with everybody else in your organization and said, excuse me, can you just highlight which on here are the really important data fields? How successful do you think that's going to be? In my experience, people will open the spreadsheet and they'll go, whoa, that looks really long and complicated. And they're not even going to read it. They're going to close it down quickly and park it in the, I'll deal with that later pile. And what's the chances of them coming back to it? Probably slim. So in my experience, what I found over the years after trying that way and, and finding that it really doesn't work is to find some way of classifying your data so that we can identify which is the most important data. Now, the easiest way I find of doing that is to create some classifications. Now, for simplicity, I like three levels, which you could call something like high, medium, and low. Other people have called it like critical, important, and low. But the wording isn't important. What is important is we come up with some clear categories of data. And we want to know that, say, high data is the data that has, is really critical to our business processes. Things will go wrong. We might lose money or it might damage our reputation if this data is wrong. So clearly, data that has got the higher classification is going to be the ones that we want to focus our efforts on on data governance. And we can come up with um, different criteria for medium and low as well because we want it, it to be consistent um, whoever is classifying data that they can look at these criteria and apply them consistently. Now you can do this at a data domain level or a data set level or at a data element level but if you've got the clear criteria it's very easy for whoever is doing that classification to be very clear that they have identified correctly the most important data for your organization. Now you might be thinking that's great but where am I going to go and come up with these criteria from then you know, I think you might need to sit down and have a think about the different impacts that there could be from that poor quality data. But if you work for an organization that is pretty mature in its approach to risk management, I'd recommend going and finding your operational risk team, asking if you can see a copy of their risk matrix. And you will find that the criteria on there are exactly the kind of thing that you're looking for. You might think of some others, but it would be a really good way of inspiring you and seeing some really good ways of classifying um, data. Obviously, the risk people use it to classify risks, but you can use that same kind of approach. And once you've done that, and you can ask people to classify their data, either a data set level or a data domain level, it's very easy then to see that you want to focus all your data governance efforts on the most important data so that, that you've classified high. And you can also use the, the three levels of classification to determine how much data governance you do on data because clearly we want to put a lot of effort into the data that's classified as high. And we might want to do definitions and data quality rules and we might want to do some data quality reporting regularly. But if we look at the other end of the scale and the low data, actually, it might not be that important at the moment and we might not want to waste any time doing it. So we might not do anything for that at the moment. And we'd agree something somewhere in between for the, that that's classified medium. Once you've done this, it makes it really easy to know that you're focusing your efforts on the right data. And it also then makes it easier to explain to your stakeholders that you're focusing on the right data and get them to support your efforts. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, 
please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by liking and commenting on this and maybe sharing on your choice of social media. I'd really appreciate that. And just remember, if you've got any questions that you would like me to answer in future videos, just email them in to questions at nicolaaskham.com.